Okay, so now we're going to do an exercise related to dangerous minds, yeah? Um, so my most dangerous, you know, quality is my inner critic. Your most dangerous quality may be, you know, that you're a little paranoid. You think people in your office are trying to take you down so that they get the promotion. Or, I don't know. Maybe you have paranoia. Maybe you have despair. Um and therefore no plan. These are all um, moments in which the mind can invite negative, quite negative expectations. And then we r realize like, oh, you know, I've just found the dark, scary closet of my psyche. So here's your exercise. It has worked for me beautifully, um, more times than I want to think about. <laughs> I don't want to tell you why I was chosen to create a series on positive mindsets. So um, what I do is I create an image of my inner critic. And when I say create an image, I'm talking about draw a picture, make it vivid, color it, give it a color. Is it black? Is it a dude in a trench coat? Is it somebody with a gun? You know, like, what is it? Um, you know, try to make it as vivid to convey the feeling tone of your mindset, yeah? As I said, mindsets are only dangerous when they're attached to feelings we don't want to have or feelings that we already have, and thus the mindset. So make the character very vivid and... You can draw it, you can cut it out. Um, let's see, I, I don't have any right in front of me. But I try to make them, you know, a fairly large. Take up a full half a sheet of paper. Don't do a little thing like this. Do it big. So what you do is you put this character inside you because here's the thing. It already lives in you, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about this. So when you make it vivid, you're honoring your own experience. And that's the thing is like, what, what we're discovering in psychology, neurology, quantum physics, all the fields, is that trying to deny or turn away from or suppress a particular aspect of us just ends up giving it more power. You know, like it gets all the energy of the trap door and the force you use to put it in there. So instead, I invite you to make the character smaller. So draw it, color it, cut it out, and then put it inside you and say, thank you for doing your job. It's trying to keep you safe. It's trying to keep you from having feelings you don't want. It's trying to keep you from being ready to experience a different aspect of life. It might paralyze you. For all these reasons, it's trying to keep you safe when life feels overwhelming or feelings feel overwhelming. So thank the character, you know, once you've drawn it, thank the character. Then mentally put it in your heart and say, thank you for doing your job. Now let's try something else. If you do this exercise and you repeat it mentally for three days, I promise you, you will have embraced a part of you that is trying to keep you safe. You will have healed an aspect of your mind that is taking you to the abyss over and over again. And you will have stepped over a barrier that seemed larger than life before. So this is the way we take our monsters, we bring them in, we show them some love, we honor their role in our life, and we move on. So good luck with your artwork, make it vivid, cut it out, hold it up, befriend it.